Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. It's Thursday so that means I take a look at one of your designs that you have recommended to me in the comments section of one of my videos. So for today I thought I'd keep the theme of drilling and would look at the MDP6 or for a more longer name the Mobile Drill Platform 6 wheeled. So this is a giant drill rover with a big old crane arm for you to drill. It's not as big as the other rover that I showcased this week and the drilling arm is much much smaller and there is a little bit more fiddliness with the controls of it. But as it stands what I've been doing with it, it's a very solid rover. Even if you remove the drill arm itself, the rover itself is pretty decent for actual survival usage. Coming back around to the front, we have got two lights got the wheels, we've got ladders going up there, and we have a gun on top. We have a solar panel there for some nice renewable energy. And let's go around the side a bit. It's a bit middle mushy because I'll probably need to get in my character. Yes, coming around the side here, you can see the ladder of how to get up into the rover. Very good use of those blocks. We have an ore detector, large cargo container, some programmable blocks which is sitting there which control some of the scripts used in this. We then come around to the crane arm which is this folded thing right here. This is the cockpit of how we control the crane but we can lift it up by the main cockpit and that basically is how we're going to drill a hole in just a second. Coming back down again we can see we've got a little sorter on there, we've got a large refinery, we got the arrest of the wheels, another large cargo container, the hydrogen engines and yes another connector, another ore detector and that is basically it. If I was to get in my character this is the main cockpit where we have a lovely little chair with some controls. We have a air vent. So this is fully ready to go on the moon or wherever you want to take it. A survival kit to respawn on and refuel yourself. We have a double door. So this is if you're on a non-oxygen planet, which will automatically close the door in order to keep the oxygen inside. We do have another door on the opposite side for if we're on the Earth-like planet like we are now, so I can just go outside and not care that I've just lost all that oxygen. So let's go back through here and start with these double doors. So we come back through the doors, and we come down some steps, past the battery, past the spotlight. Yes, we come past the cargo containers, there's another large container. Pass around there. Then come over to the refinery. Programmable blocks, let's take a look at them. We've got the whips, auto door and airlock systems. On the other one we have got nothing. And then we've got the lovely little crane arm. And then background again. I'll just come underneath it so you can see. So we've got some block work. Not very protected on the underneath, you could very easily break this. Some fancy block work there. Nobody's really going to check under here, but it's nice to have a little bit of detail where somebody might just one day walk under and see. Yeah, it's a pretty solid rover in terms of its design. We even have a little pad here for us to connect up to this connector. I personally use it to eject out some of the resources I don't need, so it just bounce on the catwalks and then bounce down there without damaging the connector underneath it. Yes, we've got a lovely little turret up there, and back through here, let's try out some of the controls. So in we get, tab number one, we have got a manual brake button, so instead of pressing P to lock the wheels, we can press 1 to turn them off and drive around. So this is it, driving. It's quite a speedy vehicle. Pressing F10 and coming down to the mobile drill. It's 607 blocks, it's rather large. Not as large as some builds, of course. But it's a speedy bloody thing. Yes, turning is not so great. Stopping is okay. Putting brakes on, it stops relatively fast. Anyway, we have the connector, of course, at the front there. If we want to connect it up, pressing number three will extend the connector out. So this is if you want to connect it up to your base, you can do. Pressing number five will lift up the mining arm and get it into position. But that is all we can do from this cockpit. We all need to switch over to the one that you can see just below the drill arm. So getting out of my cockpit, let's just open this door and we come around to here. We have this lovely little space here now thanks to the drill being raised and below here where the programmable blocks were we also have a nice big space for us to run around on. But we need to come up these sloped armoured blocks across to this one and then we get into the cockpit. 
This cockpit is quite fun because you've, if you turn your mouse, you will also turn the actual cockpit itself. But anyway, bring up the HUD, we have a multitude of different buttons on this one panel. Nothing else there, which is very nice to keep it all concise onto one tab. So pressing number one, it's going to do the exact same thing as the main cockpit did. It will just raise and lower the drill arm, so you're ready to pack up and go away. Pressing number two will raise up the actual drill arm itself in order to allow you to swing the arm down and get ready to drill a hole into the ground. Pressing number three is going to lower the drill arm, but oh no, it can't get past the piston. That's right, we have to press number five I swing my camera all the way up to here, press number 5, it'll then rotate the drill arm. Drill arm will just continually rotate until you press it again and then the rotor gets locked and it's in position. But I'm just going to swing it around once more and there we go, that will do. So pressing number 3 now, it's going to swing the arm down. Right. So now that is ready to be lowered into the ground and we can start getting the tasty resources that are lie below. Although there isn't an ore patch here, it's just going to be stone. Pressing number six will turn on the drill head. Number seven is a gyroscope, which allows us to turn around the actual drill arm via the cockpit using our mouse. We'll need to turn it off before we head off, otherwise the arm will just swing around and damage the truck. Number eight and number nine are to manually adjust the speeds of the drill arm, but don't touch them. I've learned that the hard way. Yes, we can press number four to start lowering this down at an exceptionally low speed. And then when we're close to the ground, we can press number five and the arm will start swinging around. Yes, I can at the current point in time, use my mouse now to swing the actual drill arm itself around. I'm on the uneven surface, so the truck is flailing a bit. Yes, you can turn this around if you want to get into a precise location. Like say, if I wanted to drill over here, I could just turn myself and that will do. It is very slowly going to. I can speed this up by pressing number eight. And then pressing number nine again, it'll go back to its exceptionally slow speed of dropping down. So now that that is very slowly dropping down, I can press five and the arm will start spinning around. In fact, let's get a bit close to the ground. Now do. And now it's going to start drilling a perfect circle in the ground. Okay, yes, it's not going to be as fast as the other drilling platform I showcase. This is going to take roughly 20 minutes for it to actually complete its drill. The one good part about this is the fact that it takes up so few blocks and you could very easily shove a projector down, use the Nanite build and repair system and get this up and running in a survival world if you wanted a set and forget type of drill. So I've left this running for a little bit of time and as you can see it's starting to take shape with its little circle as it slowly bores into the earth and it will keep going like this until eventually the pistons stop moving and you would hopefully have gathered the resources you needed. But anyway that is how it works, I will very quickly just demonstrate how you reverse this back up. So pressing number four we want to reverse this up, I'm also going to increase the strength of the reversing. Pressing number five, let's stop it right there. Turn off the gyroscopes, we no longer need them. Turn off the drills because we no longer need them. So now our drill is sort of looking like that and we'll need to then pull the drills back up like so. Then we need to rotate the drills around and try and put it back to where it was. Uh, roughly that will do. Now that's in place I can, whoopsie lower down the arm and I'll also want to turn this back around and now I've turned that around I had to turn the gyroscope on just to control the cockpit I think that is roughly in line let's try and get that a bit more straight that'll do and then I can press number one and it should fold itself back to where it was getting out of the chair I can now run back oh turn on my jetpack run back down here 
find the little stairs up, come back into the cockpit, and boom, I can now travel on my way. And it's just, oh god, this thing gets quite a lot of air. But yes, this is the MDP-6, or the Mobile Drill Platform 6-wheeled. It's a quite an interesting little design, especially for the drilling arm. It's not like the others that you see on the workshop where they'll just bore a massive hole because there's just a bunch of drills clumped together. This will just go around in a very slow circle and eventually drill a hole down to the resources. So to finish this off, I'm just going to crash this into my base. As per usual, it'll be in the description below if you wish to download and play around with it yourself. Oh god, I'm still my chair. Whee. Perfect parking. And yes, I shall be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.